My name is Ashley Ree and I am this year's cultural coordinator and to finish my term I made this uh, video project where I went around the SDSU campus and asked random people, strangers, about their opinion on the model minority myth. And then I asked current and past executive board members of this organization who already have some idea on the model minority myth and who have been exposed to API issues already. So we will compare and contrast the two different perspectives. Yeah. Uh, cool. Thank you. What comes to mind when I say the term Asian American? Asian American, uh, first thing that comes to mind is conflicting ideals between like Eastern and Western civilization. Someone who has Asian heritage? Pretty much someone's grown up with like two cultures. So someone who still believes in like the culture from wherever like we're back home but you're also like, like you practice American. like your traditions but also like you practice American traditions as yeah. well. Asian American? <laughs> Me? <laughs> Asians that are like born here or lived here like a majority of their life I guess. Do you know what the model minority myth is and can you give an explanation? I don't know. Okay, so the model minority myth pretty much says that Asian Americans are successful and it makes it seem like Asian Americans are the perfect minority and that we don't have any problems in the community. How do you feel about this? Do you agree or disagree? Is this good or bad? It is a trend that goes around during high school. Well, for me, I've heard, oh, Asians do well in school. Or everyone would expect an Asian to go to a very um, well-regarded school. And it's bad in the sense that it places a high standard on them. It makes them feel like psychological pressure. I would disagree because it's kind of unfair to generalize an entire, um, an entire group of people into one category. I disagree because I think that um, regardless of what race or culture, um, we all have very smart people and we all have different uh, variables and um, different characteristics that um, define ourselves, so I don't believe that there should be one standard that should define a whole race or culture. Um, I would disagree, because no culture or ethnicity is perfect. I mean, that's like saying all black people are good at basketball. Has this myth ever applied to you, or have you seen it personally applied to someone else? Mm, I grew up in a dominantly white community, and um, minorities were typically picked on, and I we immigrated here from Asia. I was born here, though, um, and we didn't. We weren't, you know. Typically, I would say white families have what's it what, um, when they pass down the money to you? Inheritance, inheritance. We didn't have that. We had to start from the bottom, like a lot of people. So I don't understand where that myth came from. I feel like because uh, we are seen as a model minority, we already have that same expectation for us to do well in school. Um, might not be as like overbearing as it is now, but it kind of it's like that underlying tone that we should always be seen as successful. To be honest, yeah. Well, back when my parents immigrated back in from the Philippines back in the 80s, I actually uh, had a lot of pressure from them to, I guess, live up to their expectations, to do well in college, to do well in school, get a good job. Uh, basically to give back to them when they get old and there were a lot of times when I couldn't really live up to their expectations and that really took a toll on me to be honest. Other people set standards towards me and believe that I should uh, achieve very high and say like math or say I'm very good at computers and school. In reality, that's not the case. I struggled through school. It was hard for me. Um, they say that Asians, you know, naturally are smart and can get A's. For me, I really had a struggle, and a lot of people would just think that it was a walk in the park for me, in which, in my case, wasn't true. How do you define the model minority myth, and what are your thoughts? Um, the model minority myth, uh, for one, is a myth that uh, people in, I guess, America believe that Southeast Asians are the model minority, which means that they, you know, exceed in life, get good grades, and get further than minorities such as, you know, Hispanics and the Blacks. And um, my thoughts on it is, um, you know, people say that 
I don't know, why is that such a bad stereotype, you know? Why is it bad to be smart? But it's really the pressure that it puts on young adults and children, that uh, the pressure it puts on them to do well, and it really gets to them. Yes, yeah, so the model minority myth, um, it's this belief that um, out of all minorities, Asian Americans are the ones who are succeeding, who are like, um, the prime example for all their minorities, because it's believed for them to have overcome all these barriers, barriers because they have um, success, but it doesn't take into account those who aren't being accommodated. Um, so it's a very generalized, a very, um, it's just very generalized. If I don't meet the expectations of the standards that are expected of me, I feel like I have um, let myself down, but in reality I know that um, it's not about the minority. Everyone has their own individual strengths and weaknesses and that the minor minority is just something that um, puts a lot of stress on to Asian Americans. The model minority is pretty much um, saying that you know all Asians should excel in everything that they do and pretty much the myth is just that that it is a myth and um, I don't believe it's true. Like it's not something that like oh we're good at things like we work for that stuff like it's not just like natural. Right and just because um, a certain number of us are doesn't mean that us as a whole, you know, everyone, like all Asians are. So I don't, I don't necessarily believe it's true. How do you think we can bring awareness about this myth and do something about it? I think more inclusion of other organizations that are not specifically API organizations and including them and understanding what, what difficulties they are also encountering first and then showing them what the difficulties that we are encountering will strengthen the fact that we are all going, going through the same hardships. Like with our fashion talent show, that's pretty much um, what its main purpose is, is to break away from the model minority myth. I feel like not a lot of Asians are like really seen in like the entertainment world, especially, I don't know, like dance, like any any sort of like field like that. So I think that's like one way we could say like, hey, like we have we have abilities to do this, and we we can do it just like anybody else. Like we're not only like book smart, but we could be good at other things too. Especially since we're college students, um, it starts with higher learning. We are the future of this country, of the world. Any institutional of higher learning is the future. We're not here just for degrees. We're all here for to learn about our different respective fields, but also to kind of step out from this veil of ignorance that we have. Because, you know, we're not stupid. We're not, you know, we're not dumb. We're merely just ignorant of certain issues that are pervading in the world right now. And so I think the first step starts with at the, at the college level, the university level, that there needs to be more funding by the schools. More tuition, more of our tuition money needs to be set aside for these special programs. I'm not talking about just Asian American studies, I'm talking about Africana studies, all those other ethnic studies, they need more focus. Without that, it doesn't matter how many a passionate few are, it's not going to disseminate within the next decade or century even. It needs to be a faster rate and there needs to be more resources and more, yeah, more resources pulled into this to highlight these important issues. And so you can say that with any area of note. And that's how I feel. In conclusion, it's hard to break this myth or this stereotype because no one wants to purposefully fail just to prove that they aren't the model minority. Everyone wants to succeed, but there's a bad light that shines whenever Asian Americans are the ones succeeding. Oftentimes there can be a little bit of guilt among Asian Americans who are doing well in school and getting good grades, who know that they are enforcing the stereotype. Bottom line is, society has been generalizing Asian Americans with this myth and it's been working to our disadvantage. At a glance, it may seem like a good stereotype, complimenting us by saying that we are successful and hardworking, but it is a stereotype and it doesn't apply to everyone. We are not perfect and we have the same problems as anyone else. Well, thank you for allowing me to speak to you and make these projects and presentations for you all. Uh, I really enjoyed being cultural coordinator this year and I can't wait to serve you next year.